Hi, welcome back to my channel. And today we're going to be planning for the first week of homeschool for 2019 and my Erin Condren life planner turned homeschool planner. <sighs> Do you feel the excitement? Yay. All right, guys, welcome back. It's a new year in our wee little homeschool. And yeah, let me tell you, it's, we, we we took a week long break and I'm not, I'm, I'm trying to get my bearings. I'm not even, I can't person. Let's just go with that. So, like I said, we took last week off. It's been a while since I've done one of these things. So let me show you what last week looked like. This was Christmas week. We did nothing really related to school for this week. We did some crafts. She had a birthday party. Um, and most of this up here is just me doing research for lesson plans and setting up things for this week and things to remember. That's really it. Um, this kit was by, it's a printable because you guys know I do printables and it's by, um, dang it. Paper Bandit, don't. Don't quote me, I'm really terrible. My memory is, I told you, I'm I'm not ready. I am not ready for 2019. I'm not ready to adult. I am not ready, but I promise you, I'll have the link to this kit down below. I promise. Um, see, I haven't even set this up. I haven't set up my notes. I haven't set up my monthly. I have set up nothing. I am not ready, but the whole point of this is to get ready, right? So this week's kit, this is a note to myself from like forever ago, goodness. Anyway, so we're gonna be planning for the 31st through the 6th. And the kit we're gonna be using this week is by Blushberry. It is also a printable. And the theme is called Sparkle and Shine, so. Hopefully this plan with me should go down way quicker because I bought a silhouette for myself for Christmas, even though it's a learning process. Let me show you how it's a learning process. Do you see that? That's washi tape because I don't know how, like what my cut settings should be. So <laughs> it's a learning process, but they're already cut and I shouldn't have to bust out my scissors for nothing, nothing. So that's, that's what I'm not gonna do is bust out scissors because at least we know if it looks like this, hot mess, where is it? It's cut all the way through. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pop down these stickers real quick and then we will get to lesson planning and have a little chat.
For the past month, we have been solely focusing on her math because she has had a most serious problem with um, multiple digit multiplication. As you guys know, if you've seen my previous ones, the three digit ones. So I decided to put a break on everything else that we were doing and focus on math, just math the whole time so we can finish this book, <laughs> first of all. And second of all, because that's what she needed at the time. The other stuff, the writing and the grammar and everything else she was catching on to really quickly. It was the math that was a struggle and it's okay to pause something like other subjects to make sure that your child is understanding the concepts of another subject. So we paused everything else and we solely focused on math all through um, November and December because she needed it. And I'm glad that we did because, you know, she she had her aha moment in math and kept going. So now we're able to, what am I doing with this one here? So now we're able to move on and progress in math and she can finish the book hopefully before the end so she'll be able to finish her level whatever what level she's on before the end of um january this month january it's january now i need to get over myself but that's that's the goal so that's what we're going to do hopefully yeah all right, so let me look at my little pre-planned game here. I'm gonna make me some stickers for subjects so I don't have to keep writing this stuff down. This is killing me, Smalls. All right, um... Okay. So for math, we are on the very last level. Thank goodness. So for math, which, oh my, okay. So for math, the last concept is miles, mileage. Oh no, this pen is not working on this paper. <clears throat> Can I please get a pen that works, please? Mileage, pounds. Tons and feet, like converting how many miles are, how many feet are in a mile, how many pounds are in a ton. I don't know why they don't go over the metric system, but whatever, this is America. And she has A, B, and C. And I feel like I need to fix this washi strip because I see a bit, bit of line. And Ugh, that sounded horrible. Whatever. We have A, B, and C. So we have math. Um, Tuesday. There's cursive. And I have to review what letters we're actually doing for this one. So don't judge me. I'll note that down later. What letters we're actually doing for cursive this week. I don't care if you know that. All right, Wednesday. I know Wednesdays usually are writing day, but she's not feeling, she hasn't been feeling so hot this weekend, or I guess from the really busy week. So I'm giving, I'm gonna, we're gonna switch up when we do cursive. So I'm gonna give her a little, a little, like I'm easing her into back into the schooling. I'm not just gonna bam, there it all is. This is not my best lettering, but I'm okay with that. Rating. 
What are we doing for writing? We're moving on to the next level or the next lesson. So lesson four. That should be exciting. Oh, it's right here. So lesson four is. And we're gonna be breaking this up a bit better. So lesson four. We're going to be do I have another half box? I do. I do have another half box. I have all the half boxes. So we're going to actually no, I think I need to check box for this to see what we're going over. So this lesson we're actually going to be I'm gonna try and get one for my broke washi strip sheet. But it looks like this lesson we're gonna be doing a video and learning new concepts. Oh my goodness, I can't even get it off of this one. And learning new concepts. Things about strong verbs, band verbs. The writing checklist and choosing a title because they didn't have to choose a title so far. But now they can choose a title. Oh my goodness, I can't even. What is happening? Are you you're, you're holding this hostage? Is that is that what's going on? There's one. Screw it. It's black now. <laughs> I'm not fighting this stuff. Like I'm just not fighting stickers this year. 2019 is the year we are not fighting stickers. So you don't want to be gray, now you're black. I don't, I don't care. Okay, so new dress ups. We are learning about strong verbs, band words, the checklist, and choosing a title. I really wish sticker makers would make these full boxes like this without the checklist. That, I mean, without the little, yeah, I think that would be great. Like if you just had one full one, no checklist, I'm good, love, enjoy. And then what I'm gonna have her do after we watch the video is do the keywords. Are you all crooked? I don't even care if you are anymore. So we're gonna watch the video and do a keyword outline for writing. Cause this one's pretty, is, what is it? Student writing intensive is exactly what it says, intense. For grammar, we're gonna be going back a bit and we're going to read you week eight because I did not feel like she got the concepts good enough. So, we're going to go back a couple weeks instead of continuing and moving forward with week 11. Because I feel like she needs a review after not having it for two months. So week eight and week eight and fix it is, oh, coincidentally, strong verb. So. Her um, dress up for her writing match her what well, she's going over with grammar. So, yay. Go oh, me, look at me. Strong verbs. I wonder if there's like a really funny like deco that goes with this. Is there like a weight? There is a weight. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a weight right there for strong verbs. <laughs> there we go. That's funny. Oh, there is a quarter box. Ain't that something? Oh well. So here I do need an actual, I, for once I actually need a checklist. Dang it, I'm getting one of these grays. Come on, son.
And then Friday is reading. And we are wrapping up our first little session on um, Egypt, ancient Egypt. So she's just gonna finish reading up Pyramids and Mummies. Alright, so this is my week thus far. Usually I would put like full boxes on the bottom, but I'm going to leave it blank in case I make more notes throughout the week about things that we're doing. Um, as usual on my sidebar here, I have her tracker for her tickets that she earns for our allowance system. Here I'll have my weekend review. Monday, we still have our math Mondays. I'm switching up writing in cursive, writing cursive and grammar. Um, I don't know why I didn't put grammar there, but whatever. Writing cursing and grammar because I'm trying to ease her a bit back into the language arch portion of our curriculum since we've been focusing on math so much. And writing, we're just moving on to the next lesson, which is lesson four, where sh she'll learn about extra more things to like dress up her writing with. <clears throat> and that includes strong verbs, band words. They're, we're gonna go over their composition checklist that they have to check every single time even though I've done that with her, but that's what the video is gonna go over and choosing a title. So for grammar, we're gonna go back a couple weeks just to review. Um, so these should go by really quickly. We're gonna do week eight, which focuses on strong verbs. And Friday, we're going to wrap up our ancient Egypt learning by her finishing reading the book, Pyramids and Mummies by, I cannot remember the name, so I'll link it down below because goodness gracious, where's my memory? It's like a, ah, it's a treehouse book. It's a nonfiction treehouse book. Ha, I got it. All right, and I'm not even sure we're gonna be doing anything this weekend because we're still recovering from the holiday. But that's it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. If you would like to see more Plan With Me videos, homeschooling or regular planning, budget planning, things like that, because you know, this is this is a planner channel. This is what I do. Um, click that subscribe button down below. It's right there. Go ahead and click it. And hit that little bell ringer next to it so you'll be notified when I post my next video. Thank you so much again for joining me. Until next time, bye.